Rachel, we watched a sensational 12 round battle between lineal champion Tyson Fury, WBC champion Deontay Wilder. Yeah. I want to talk specifically about Deontay Wilder okay. and his performance. All right. I was impressed with Deontay Wilder because we all knew going into the fight that Wilder could not outbox Fury and he didn't try to. But mm-hmm. Wilder never abandoned what got him to the WBC Heavyweight Championship, mm-hmm. what's kept him there. Okay. And constantly and always was trying to win the fight. Yeah. And I think there's a certain mental strength in that because he was having a tough time in the fight. He, I think, statistically is one of the better um, fighters at landing punches, according to CompuBox. And in this fight, he could not do that. <laughs> no. And And sometimes you'll see in fights, and you saw it with Klitschko, that that will break, the opponent, the person will break down over as the rounds go on because they get flummoxed, mm-hmm. they get frustrated, they get tired, they can't hit, if you've ever, I tell you what, go, if you have a heavy back home, or you don't need a heavy back for this, throw some, throw a punch like you're going to hit something, and then it not be there, it's hard to mimic that, yeah, but it's it hard happens, to mimic that. <laughs> it's painful, it hurts if you miss a punch, Yeah. okay, yeah. Um, you, if you watch boxing like you should, because you're watching our show, <laughs> Well, that's what happened to Ryan Burnett against Nito Denaire. He threw a punch, threw out his back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's that's what can happen. Wilder missed so many punches in the fight, but he kept throwing punches. He kept throwing punches and ended up knocking Tyson Fury down twice. Looked like he had knocked him down in the 12th round, knocked him out in the 12th round. Fury somehow amazingly got up. <laughs> Rachel, do you think Wilder can take this, learn from it, and improve? Or would we see something similar in the second fight? Yeah, that's really hard to tell because uh, I appreciate your viewpoint on it because um, I tend to be a little pessimistic mm. for, you know, if you don't know me, that's that's my nature. And so what I saw in the fight is I saw that uh, Fury um, really highlighted um, Wilder's uh, deficiencies. limited, his deficiencies, yeah, so his limited skills and, and how one-dimensional he is. In that he's he's tall, got a long reach, crazy power, but like that's what he's doing the whole fight. He's gonna land that punch that's gonna knock you out, and that's what he wants to do the whole fight. So if he's fighting somebody who who is okay. gonna disrupt that, yeah. then like he's in trouble. And so that's what I saw. But like I find it interesting that if you kind of flip that on its head, that you did see. Well, that's what Wilder knows how to do, and so. He has heart. He's got and a crazy ton of heart. Nobody can like argue that. He kept up with like he didn't give up. He fought all twelve rounds and all twelve rounds. Wilder, as athletic as he looks, um, has some problems with uh, stamina, uh, which is normal for a heavyweight. Especially if you're missing punches that you're throwing as right. hard as you can. He like was he so tired. So tired <laughs> that there was like, you know, after that first knockdown, he really went after Fury. And then Fury got a little comeback on him. Yeah, because he was tired. He couldn't do it anymore. Mm-hmm. You know? So um I, I find that really interesting. So I don't I don't know. Like I feel like if Wilder could have okay, so it's either one of two things. Either Wilder can't learn any more skills. Like this is him, this is it, he's 33. This is the best of Wilder that we're getting. And that seems kind of likely to me. Okay. The other thing is, is that Wilder has not had a need to learn new skills up until now. Right. And that well, yeah. this fight might spur him to go back to camp to, or training with his trainers, his manager, and be like, okay, what can we add to my game so that if when I fight Fury again, I got more to draw from on it. And so... And I, so I don't know which of those two yeah. things that it could be. I kind of agree with you. Cause I do think that he has, over time, added skills to his game. Yeah, yeah. Like, he never had a good jab, and now he has, um, according to Compubax, a jab that lands off it. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, in this fight, in the last fight against Luis Ortiz, he got away with just having the heart and athleticism. Yeah, yeah. And I thought going into the fight, he would get away with it again, because I did not expect Tyson Fury to come in be able to come in and be the best version that we've ever seen. Ever and seen. that's what happened. <laughs> we'll get more into that in yeah. another video. But in this fight, definitely Wilder, they tried to do some things. He was landing on the left hook to the body, which I hadn't seen a lot of him, him do that a lot before. But here's something I think he can take from this fight and move forward. Okay. Wilder is almost always the taller guy, right? Yeah. He's six foot seven. 
he has long arms. That's what he generates power. His best punch is his, he's what? His right hand, his back hand, his power hand, straight, right? Mm -hmm. So he's used to, that's how, this is how far he has to be away from his opponent to land it, okay? Mm -hmm. But against Fury, Fury can take this away from any fighter. Any good boxer can. And so what Wilder was doing in the fight, which was frustrating if you're rooting for Dante Wilder, is he would get inside on Fury, the taller guy, mm -hmm. okay? And instead of letting his hands go and doing stuff inside, Wilder would step back again. Because that's what he's always done. That's that's what always worked for him was stepping back and using his length. But he couldn't do that against Fury. But he kept doing that because it's just naturally ingrained in him. So for the next fight, really just work on that intermediate. When you're inside here, mm -hmm. go to work wilder. Shorten up your punches, right? Because he's mm -hmm. got, you, you saw the power in the hook. Yeah. He's got those punches, more body work. And I think he can definitely improve. That's hard, though, against a great boxer like Fury. But still, I think it's definitely something to Mark Breland, his trainer, uh, JD is the co-trainer. I think they can take that, this performance, which was a great performance for Alder, and take it to the next fight. And I think it would be just great. And that is real talk. <laughs> okay.